Hey, what's going on everyone? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the NVIDIA Omniverse once again. Now, a couple of months back, I talked about this a little bit and I have been watching this uh, software for a while and I'm watching it pretty close because I think this right here, once it's all done with and developed, if NVIDIA decides to develop it all the way through, I think this is going to be a pretty darn good competitor for other software when it comes to animation as well. Now, what I'm gonna do is just talk about and show you why I think this is gonna be a big deal down the road. Uh, first and foremost, it supports multi-GPU. I mean, if you have like 100 RTX A6000, it's going to support it, okay? It's gonna be awesome. It also lets you do real-time physics, right? So you got destruction, fire, all these simulations in real time. It's going to be crazy. Like I said, if they continue to develop this, it's going to be insane. But what I'm going to do is just go over some of the things that I think is going to be useful. So the only thing right now with the NVIDIA Omniverse, it, it relies a lot on connectors. So if I go to the exchange right here, you're going to see there's a lot of connectors that you can use with the NVIDIA Omniverse. So that means that it has to rely on external things right now to kind of work you know you have an uh, 3ds max you got autodesk maya and you got a relusion right here which i talked about and you got some unreal engine as well so right now i want to make a movie here that's for sure they have two apps that will let me do that they have the nvidia omniverse create and they have the nvidia omniverse uh, machinima Okay, so they have this one right here. Now, as far as I know, the create is probably where I want to be at, but I'm still kind of researching and trying to see which software is best, Omniverse Machinima or create. And additionally, recently, they added a Blender 3.0 Alpha USD branch right here. So Omniverse create uses Pixar's file of .usd. So this Blender right here, which is included in this exchange, you can download which I actually downloaded. And what I'm going to do is kind of show you how this could potentially work. So I'm going to open up the Blender 3.0 because what I'm trying to do is I want to be able to import motion capture here. Okay, right now they use a lot of AI audio to mouth and video to animation, but I want motion capture. So right now I'm thinking of using Blender because it's free, and I'm going to connect it to uh, Omniverse Create or Machinima. Okay, so I have here is the USD Blender 3.0, and I'm going to go ahead and import. All right, so I'm going to open up this robot here from Michael, and this thing looks amazing. It looks awesome. And look, at, I mean, take a look at this thing. It's just crazy. So the theory is that I'm going to go in Blender, import, assets in here blender assets animate them using fbx mocap and then i'm going to transfer it to omniverse for rendering material wise they are not one-to-one -one just yet and i'll kind of show you what i'm talking about so if i go to file right here i'll go to export you're going to see this universal scene description which is the dot usd file i was talking about and i'm going to go ahead and create a new folder here and type it at, type title it just omni so right here is the .usd exporter. And what we're going to do is export here and then import and create. So you can see right here, I'm going to leave everything by default, materials, all that stuff. And I'm, I'm going to export a texture as well. So I'm going to export texture. Additionally, if you want to see the Omniverse toolbar, it's right here. Okay, so I'm going to click right here. You can kind of see the Omniverse toolbar, okay? You got a couple of options here. You can choose the maps that you want baked. But like I said, it's not one-to-one -one yet. So let me go ahead and go to NVIDIA Create now so I can show you this. Now, if you know how to fix this, let me know. But you might have to tweak some materials in Blender or in Create to get this working 100%. So in theory, you kind of want to get assets that are meant straight or strictly for Omniverse, which right now there are not. there's not a lot of them. But I'm sure in time there's going to be a lot more. So I'm going to go to that folder that I just created right here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and import that, what we just exported out of that Blender branch, right? So if you look right here, 
you can kind of see that it doesn't look as good as our blender. See that? That looks nice. And even if I change this to path trace, I mean, it, it's just not there yet. And like I said, you might have to tweak some of the materials. But that's why I said earlier, like, as much as I want to try this right now, you know, there's just a lot of kind of like workarounds you've got to do even with materials and stuff like that. But what I'm going to do now is, now that you saw that it's Blender, I'm going to show you some of the native files that they have available in the actual NVIDIA Create because now you're going to see what it's supposed to be. So I'm going to go to localhost. I'm going to go to uh, NVIDIA right here. And this is their server. You can access this whenever you download NVIDIA Create Beta. And let's go to samples. And it's a little bit slower here. We'll take a look at the astronaut. And this is a .usd astronaut. So this is meant for the Omniverse. And I'm going to show you this because I want to show you the potential of this software and real-time ray tracing, path tracing. Look at this thing. This is real-time. I'm moving around here with the RTX A600 or A6000. This is kind of what I'm excited about right here. Now I can change this to real time if I want, which is going to make it a little bit faster. So right now I'm looking at this software and I'm kind of thinking about it as a renderer since it doesn't have a lot of tools built in just yet. It's a pretty darn good renderer because take a look at this. And this is why I think this is going to be a competitor later because of this real-time ray tracing, real-time path tracing, real-time physics, and fire simulation and destruction. So let's go take a look at another one. Let's take a look at a flight one right here, a little landscape. And like I said, this is multi-GPU enabled. So... You can just stack GPUs all day and it will work. And it's just going to get faster. So here it is. It just rendered this scene right here. And I'm going to path trace this, but I'm probably going to lag. Okay, because I am recording as well. So I can kind of move around here. Actually, it's doing pretty good. And I can WASD my way around as well. So the power of this NVIDIA Create Omniverse right now, as far as filmmaking goes, is the renderer. Okay, it's relying a lot on connectors and other tools, but it has a really solid renderer because it is NVIDIA, right? So I'm going to go back here and let's take a look at some characters. So I'm going to go to library. All right, let me go to assets. I'm going to go to character, illusion. They got some illusion characters here as well. Our dot USD. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. And there you go. And it's just loading right now. Right here, Omni PBR dot MDL, which is the material. Okay, this is Deborah from Relusion I uh, Character Creator. And this is again real time. This renderer right here is pretty freaking crazy. So, Machina, here's the robot they got. Soul and Soulette. And this is also gonna, compile shaders here, all right, so that's done. It's pretty crazy, and Path, tra path Trace is not showing up because we don't have any lights in the scene. So if you wanna re create a light, then we'll just kinda open up a rec light and then, you know, same thing, slide them up and rotate it. And the cool thing is the controls are the same, so easily like, rotate. So if you're like, you know, coming from Unreal Engine, you won't have issues at all with, you know, looking at the, um, or memorizing the keyboard shortcuts. But this is what I am excited about. The actual rendering. Dude, this looks freaking good. You know? And I am absolutely hoping 
that NVIDIA would continue developing this software, either the machinima or create, because yeah. I think this is gonna be a pretty good software and it is free. So like I said, there's just a couple of stuff that that is that I'm kind of researching right now is one of them is, you know, mocap. I have to get some mocap in here. As much as I like AI technology and AI animation, I still prefer to use motion capture. You know what I mean? So that's the number one question right now. So my plan was actually um, using Blender, as you all saw. But um, the material is just didn't match. But these characters are native, right? So they look freaking amazing. I'm gonna turn this up to 2K, and I am starting to slow down here. So you can kind of see where I'm trying to get at is the rendering is there. We just need kind of everything else to follow suit as far as tools and stuff like that, which I don't know how serious they are with developing this, but just take a look at this right here. And I actually want to make a movie with these two robot characters in NVIDIA Create or NVIDIA uh, Omniverse Machinima. But I have to find a way to get mocap in here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just kind of an overview, more like an update on the NVIDIA Omniverse uh, creation and machinima. They are updating this constantly, and I honestly don't know what the future holds for this software, but I'm hoping that they continue on making this uh, robust. If you all have any questions, let me know, and I'll see y'all later.